This is a special video for the Spiritual Acceleration YouTube channel because this is a Bonnie free video today. It's uh, I'm here, Cynthia, today. I'm with Sarah Ellingworth, who is one of the uh, highly skilled and incredibly powerful healers, accelerators on Bonnie Serratori's team. And uh, we're here today to uh, get to know her a little bit, to know about uh, her healing history, how she found Bonnie's work, um, how that has improved her own healing work, and just other things about her as a healer and as a person. So, hi, Sarah. How are you today? Hi, I'm really well, thank you. How are you? Pretty good. This is your first one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, interview yeah, sure. that you have. Yes. Maybe and not yes. the last. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you are... You are pretty new to Bonnie Serratori's team as an accelerator, but you're actually the lead accelerator right now. Um, yes. And you are a very powerful healer. I had a session with you about two weeks ago now, and that mm -hmm. has really shifted things for me. And during that time, you told me about how you've been on a healing path for many, many years. Um, I think it was more than a decade or something like that, mm -hmm. you said. And but you're new to you're a new accelerator, so obviously, um, during that whole time, you didn't find Bonnie's work till much later. So, could you tell us mm -hmm. about first how you enter onto the path of being a healer and doing this type of healing work? Yeah, cool. Um, I think I even mentioned in my profile on the website, I actually never wanted to become a healer. <laughs> I really it came out of a place of wanting to help myself and um you know I sort of reached a point in my late 20s where I was deeply unhappy and um I just was like there's got to be more to life than this like I was sort of at a bit of a I felt like it was a bit of a dead end I just and I didn't really know what to do to help myself so mm. that's sort of how I got on to um, spiritual healing I tried a few different things including um, working with a psychologist and um, soul coaching and Reiki and I just dabbled a little bit to be honest until I sort of um, found things that I really resonated with and I had some pretty amazing experiences <clears throat> throughout that journey and it just really sparked a desire to learn more and I learned more about myself and that there was just so much more to this life and that was really what I was needing um, yeah I just found myself um really seeking more more from life more from myself and I and I really actually didn't know how to help myself so that's when I reached out and found different modalities and therapists and um you know creatives and just started playing in that space and it opened up a lot and the more I did the more I um the more it opened up actually and yeah it just sparked a desire to um really heal all the aspects of myself that I was really struggling with and um, I think I it wasn't until I started so I'd done a lot of work with working with other people for a good five years just working on myself and doing life and um, you know I was definitely getting results and change out of that which was amazing and I was learning about spirituality um, but it wasn't until I started Reiki, I learned Reiki one. And I did that for myself because I got to a point where I was like, I want to be able to do this for myself. Or I don't want to have to keep going to other people to heal or learn or grow. Like I want to do this for myself. And I was really drawn to Reiki. So I learned Reiki one. And it was after that, there was this resonance that was like, doing this for other people like this is a like this could be a vocation or there was just some sort of I don't know feeling of doing this for others and I was like yeah no <laughs> I'm not doing this for anyone else but myself like this is just for my own healing I only want to do this for me I had you know the thought of doing it for other people actually terrified me um and I then went on to do Reiki 2 um and Reiki 3 and my mastership and at some point in that process I sort of resigned to um I don't know just a knowing that that was part of what I, I the universe was trying to sort of align me in this new direction and I was very resistant um and the whole time I just kept working on myself that was my priority that was that was why I was doing it but then um in my work environment 
I was definitely struggling in that space because I was no longer aligned to that. My energy was changing so much and my passions were changing and values and what I wanted to do. And um, it just became this natural progression into, you know, being of service in that capacity to others, helping them through their healing um, because of what I had gone through with my own. I knew it was something that I could share and help. Um. Yeah, and it, and it was just became a passion. It really became a passion of me to learn more about healing and um, that there is actually so much more to this world than we think that there is, and that was fascinating. It's a bit like being in a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, I haven't actually checked recently. I got asked that the other day. It's been, last time I checked, it's been over 15 years since this all started for me, since I started um, healing and working in this space. Um, yeah, so that's sort of how I, I got onto this path and how it's sort of come about in my life. So throughout that path, you eventually found Bonnie's work and took her training, became an accelerator, and now you're the lead accelerator on the team. So yes. how has her work impacted your life and, and mm -hmm. also your work as a healer? Yeah. When I came across Bonnie's work, it allowed me to go so much deeper than what I had already done and I'd already and I'd done a lot that's the thing like I, I reached a point where I needed more I needed more growth uh, it had taken me a long time to find um, another teacher who held um, the space for my growth because I'd done so much I was needing a really high level teacher um, and there were a couple of people that came forward, you know, throughout the universe. Um, and Bonnie was one of them. And when I came across her work, her healings were amazing. And I just, I downloaded like, a, I think I got like 35 <laughs> of the of the clearings that she has. I just went nuts. And I think for a good solid six months, I just did clearings every day because I could feel what they were doing and the shifts that they were having. And it was amazing. And then I just thought, you know what, I've got to learn this. Like it's um, aside from my own healing, I was, I, I needed to learn and understand what she was doing because she's quite fast when she does her healings. And so there was a lot of it. I actually just studied it myself, like without doing any teachings, I actually just studied and really absorbed what she was doing and watched her um, and how she would work with energy. And I, and that's where I was like, yeah, there's so much more to learn here. So I signed up for foundations and, um, and it was amazing. And I was really lucky. The class that we had were brilliant. Like everyone was phenomenal and we connected so well. It was just like the universe just went, let's bring these amazing people together. And we all worked brilliantly. I don't know. It was just like magic. The class was magic. And um, and Chris is a phenomenal healer as well and teacher too. He's a very, very good teacher. So, um, yeah, I got a lot out of it and uh, I particularly loved the dark force aspect of it. That's That was my favourite. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it's, I, it has definitely developed me as a healer, like exponentially, um, and the work that I can do now. And it's also accelerated how fast I work as well. I'm glad I can get a lot more done. Um, my work was already getting faster, uh, but a lot of up until um, Bonnie, a lot of the work that I've been doing, well, the teachings that I had to come from the divine and that was naturally getting faster as well. But I wanted that structure. I wanted something outside, like I wanted, uh, I needed guidance. Like I needed the proper teacher role in this dimension um, to deepen what I was doing and what I was learning. And um, yeah, and the foundations did that for me, which was amazing. Well, thank you for sharing that, Sarah. I had a one-on-one -on -one session with you. It was about an hour long, about two weeks mm -hmm. ago, and mm -hmm. it was really powerful for me. Um, I worked on something that has been really a huge issue for me um, throughout my life, but definitely in the past few years, it's just grown and grown as a big issue for me. And uh, One of the things that you mentioned earlier before we started recording this is about um, Bonnie's work, how um, you're able to really track some things that no matter how um, introspective a person is and how aware they may be about their own issues, there's just some things you just, you can't really find. And having that one-on-one -on -one support 
and finding you found within me some issues around judgment that I wasn't really fully conscious of. I mean, I knew I had of some, but I wasn't able to really associate that with the issue I came to you with. And you really, really helped me to see that piece of it. And it shifted so much because of that. And so I just want to thank you for helping me around that because it was a big issue. And mm. um, I have re- watched that uh, clearing that I did with you one-on-one um, several times since then. It's just gone deeper and deeper. Um, uh, so I just wanted to share that. Um, yeah, that's amazing. You are. Thank you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And one thing you did mention before that session, I actually asked you about wh- what is a specialty you have? Do you have a particular area that you really specialize in? Or, um, and you did mention the dark force um, that you, 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 met, you didn't say specifically that you prefer it or that you specialize in it, but you did kind of emphasize it. <laughs> but you said also said you could work on any issue I bring up, which is true. Anybody on Bonnie's team would be able to work on any topic. But um, so my question is like, why did you emphasize dark force there? Is it like something you prefer to do? Is it something that maybe you were affected very much by dark forces? So you want to help people in that way? Like, what is it about that? Um, One of the biggest eye openers for me, particularly through the foundations course, is how much every single human on this planet is affected by dark force interference and the level of um, I know this is going to sound a bit hardcore, but evil consciousness. And literally, it is in everybody. Um, And that doesn't mean that you're a bad person or that you're an evil person. It's just a a frequency that has been able to access us through our experiences. Like every single lifetime, every single incarnation is um, is an experience. There's no right or wrong in it. Um, And so the reason I think I love... um, the dark force aspect is because it's actually one of the areas where you can get the most liberation. Um, When I took that particular module, the experiences that I had in the expansion of light was epic. Like I'd actually never experienced anything like it. And I've experienced a lot in that respect, like as in, you know, seeing the light, feeling the light, all the divine stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like I've had a lot of experiences, but this was something else. This was literally my soul growing even bigger and the freedom and the expansion in that. I was like, that is why we do this. And that was because I... Uh, in that particular class, I really connected with that, those darker aspects of my being to come forward and transmute into the light. And that takes a lot of bravery and courage because it is, it, it's a scary concept. You know, we're talking about people don't even want to look at aspects of themselves that they deem acceptable or, you know, they don't want to acknowledge that that part of them is there. This is hardcore next level stuff. This is like, um, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's full on. <laughs> I like, I want to go to the core of the issue. I want to create a result within myself. This is how I work with me. Um I'm not, I'm not going to fluff about, like, I want to look at the truth. I want to look at the, the what's really going on so that I can shift that. Um, so I can be hardcore in that sense. Um, and that comes through in my healings as well. Like I won't, I, you know, I'm not going to fluff about. It's not all about love and light and feeling with the warm and fuzzies. Sometimes you actually just need to go right to this, to direct to the issue. Um, but it's done with compassion and and genuine love and support for myself and for whoever I'm helping. So um, I think that's why I, I love it because it creates, it, it has the capacity to have some of the biggest shifts. And um, the stronger you are in your light and the more connected you are to your oneness, um, the, actually the easier it is to work in that space with the dark because your light is so much more powerful than whatever they're trying to scare you with. <laughs> so, um, you know, being able to help others free themselves from that, that's amazing. Like I love witnessing that in other people. Um, and it's like, you know, dark, it's I consider dark horses just like entities, whatever. You, you might have some demons, you might have dark lords, <laughs> whatever. It's just anything in that space that is not you, that is influencing you in a negative capacity that just needs to move on. Um, 
there's a whole lot more to it and I'm forever learning. That's not to say that I've mastered it at all. I'm still learning and um, and I'm excited about continuing to learn with SA in that space. Um, so, yeah, so I, I do enjoy working with um, dark force frequencies. It's, um, it's relevant um, for everybody and... Um, and like I said, I think the liberation that you can get and the freedom that you can get and sometimes just the relief that you can get from clearing even, you know, one or two aspects of dark force that's impacting your situation or how you're feeling, it it does a lot. So um, it's just a space I think I work naturally in and, um, and that's what makes me good at it um, is that I don't really, um, you know, I... I'm very clear in who I am and the light within me and, and the light that I'm connected to. So that um, allows me more scope to work in that space. I, I think that's my understanding. Um, but, yeah, like I said, there's still so much more to learn, which I love, um, you know, in all of it, AI, dark force, um, the mental and emotional capacity, that's all um I do really well in that space as well. So I don't know. I don't really have a, a specialty as such. <laughs> I just enjoy working in dark forces. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sarah. And I know that Bonnie's work, you know, before I found her work, no one could really do the things she could do generally, but also especially with clearing the dark force influences. Mm -hmm. And that was a big thing for me because you know, I would get attacked all the time. So I needed, I definitely needed to find somebody who knew what they were doing in clearing that aspect. So yes, um, thank you for sharing. So you did talk about this already, but if you want to add more to this next question, I, I had mm -hmm. a question on what motivates you to actually want to heal people, but you shared mm -hmm. a lot about that already, but go ahead and elaborate. Yeah, like I said, I, it was never my desire to do that because my priority was me. <laughs> um, but it's just sort of evolved into that space. And now it's about really witnessing other people's journeys and showing up for them in the way that they need for them to move through their stuff. Um, I'm a firm believer that a healer isn't, I'm not here to um, do it for you. I'm not here to... Um, you know, I, I say to clients all the time, <clears throat> I can remove influences and obstacles and blocks and all the things that are getting in your way, but essentially you're the one that still has to walk through the door. If you want to create the change in your life and grow, you're the one that has to walk through the door and create that change. So it's really about supporting others to help themselves on their own healing journey and helping people take responsibility for themselves and their journey and their healing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it with you and to help you. And there's a lot of coaching and mentoring that comes through my sessions as well. I think you, you mentioned that um, as a point of difference, I will always give my clients homework. And I find that it's the clients who actually do the homework, who take on the feedback and the support that's given to them and actually utilize it in between sessions. They're the, they're the clients that get the biggest results and the fastest results um, because they are committed to their healing and they show up for themselves every day in whatever way they can, however big or small it is. So um, that's how... That's sort of how I work. And that's um, what I love about what I do is helping people and witnessing the change in people. It's phenomenal. It's a real honor to be able to, um, yeah, do that and help people in that way and witness their growth. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I noticed that when I had that session with you and I've had many sessions with other accelerators as well as Bonnie and something that is very different with your sessions is you do a lot more coaching while you're clearing mm -hmm. and you kind of offer different perspectives uh, while you're while you're uh, I guess doing you know whatever it is you're doing with, yeah. with all the energies and the subconscious and set etc but um, and when when you're kind of giving some of that um, those shifts and perspectives it helps to I guess integrate it a little bit uh, with during that time and then afterwards as well. And so it, that was something that was very different than many of the other accelerators um, 
they just everybody just works differently and everybody's incredibly skilled and powerful on the team you you have to be really skilled if you're an accelerator there's no way you could pass bonnie's <laughs> evaluation <laughs> test and not be skilled but um, there is definitely differences with everybody um, especially with uh, everybody has their own background and their own healing a lot of people come from different um, healing modalities as well and they find bonnie's yes. work so there's a lot yeah. of differences but definitely every single one of them are incredibly talented and, and powerful healers. Um, but I just wanted to mention that since you brought it up too, is um, you do have that coaching element to it as well. And mm. so people who are listening to this, um, if, if you know that resonates with them too, then um, there are links for your sessions to book your sessions. We're gonna leave links in the description as well. Um, yeah. But before we get into some of that, one more question, Sarah, yes. um, tell us something uh, fun or interesting about yourself that's not related to healing or spirituality just so we get to know you as a person um well one of my hobbies which I haven't been able to do in a little while because everything's all boxed up but I do love to paint um I've sold a few paintings over the years which has been amazing um and my I think my artwork does have a bit of a spiritual thing to it as well it's um it's a little bit abstract I guess um probably should share some of that um you know on my online platform I think I've got some on my social media but it's yeah I haven't done any in quite a while I always loved art in school um and then I sort of probably didn't really get into painting more until I was an adult and just realized I was really good at it <laughs> so I didn't even really do painting in school and I was like oh my god I can paint <laughs> so um yeah I really love that when I paint it's like five minutes is five hours like it's just I get lost in it it's amazing um but yeah and so that's something I'd like to get back into once I've got the space to sort of open everything up and make a big mess because it is a bit messy um yeah so I love painting and uh, I love coffee I really love coffee I have a lot of early starts because I live in Australia so a lot of um, client sessions and meetings and um, classes are quite often two three four o'clock in the mornings five o'clock six o'clock <laughs> so no matter what time it is I don't get on until I have a coffee in my hand <laughs> um so yeah love my coffee family and friends I've got two a little niece and nephew um yeah so that's I don't know that's who I am <laughs> all right thank you for sharing Sarah we're gonna have oh, to right. see some paintings next time yes I know now that I've said that I'm like I should share some <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your time today it was um I've had a lot of fun thank you yeah no problem so if people want to book with you how can they find you so I actually have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a 15 minute free uh, consultation link there if you want to connect and have a chat um, and just see you know, if you've got any questions or um, just to see if this is the right connection for you. Um, like you said, we've got an amazing team of accelerators. So I, and as I say to everybody, it's always about finding the right person um, and the other thing too is you know you can move between different practitioners and different modalities like everything you do every healing that you have no matter where it is or what it is it's all contributing to a bigger picture i have a 30 minute 45 minute or a one hour um private consultation or private healing that you can book or i also have the three session package which um, makes the price cheaper per healing um, and then there's the free consultation. I'm also running, um, I'm doing the Intuitive You course, which is coming up in July. So, um, yeah, if you wanted to, you, you could always um, book the free, the 15 minute consultation to have a chat about what I, I, a lot, I hear from a lot of people that they don't think that they're ready or they're not intuitive or psychic enough to do any of the courses. Um, and so I have changed the structure of Intuitive View a little bit um, so that people have a deeper understanding of how their intuition works and how to access it within their being and um, giving them some proper tools and things to use so that they do feel capable of going into any of the courses. Um, and if you just want it for developing your own psychic abilities or intu intuition, it's also great for that. So. Okay, great. And intuitive view, I will be attending that. I'll be there. So 
you're going to be my teacher in a few months yeah. from now. <laughs> and it would be great if we could do a follow up video on this one. Maybe we could talk more about intuitive view, what you're planning yeah. to do with it. Even people who may have taken it before, since you said you're going to change it up, like how is yes. it going to be different? Um, also, yeah. maybe you could lead me through an exercise and then lead the audience through an exercise yes. that, you know, to tap into kind of intuition or I don't know exactly. Maybe we could talk about that, like what we could do around that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that'll be great. Everybody, if you want to sign up for Intuitive View, there is a wait list right now. Or wait, I don't know. If, I think you just buy it. <laughs> I think it's opened up. Yeah, I think they've just, I have a feeling. I know that it was getting worked on the other week anyway. So um, if it's not open for registration, it will be soon. Okay. If it's not open yet, there is a wait list. So sign up no matter what. The link is going to be in the description below, as well as all of uh, the links to book with Sarah. And thank you once again, Sarah. This was great. It was uh, yeah, a pleasure, pleasure getting to know you more and Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.